Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat are in a little bit of an unsettling position. You see, they went after Kevin Durant and Donovan Mitchell during this NBA offseason. But Kevin Durant, he ultimately decided to stay with the Brooklyn Nets. And Donovan Mitchell has been shipped to the Cleveland Cavaliers, leaving them to try to go and get another NBA superstar. Bradley Beal, he decided to remain with the Washington Wizards. And as far as Damian Lillard, he decided that he wants to be a blazer for life even though that might be one of the worst decisions of his career the miami heat are still trying to find a way to get back to championship form they have their same roster they were able to draft nikola jovich who i believe will be a nba superstar one day but who can they go after right now no one but according to yahoo sports they're proposing a trade that the miami heat should go after DeMar DeRozan, reunite him with Kyle Lowry, and I believe that might just be a good idea. Now, the title of this article is Proposed Trade Reunites DeMar DeRozan with Kyle Lowry in Miami, and it states that after losing in the first round of the playoffs last season, the Bulls bring back the majority of their roster, led by DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine. David Thorpe of True Hoop put together a proposed trade for Chicago which sends DeRozan to the Miami Heat in exchange for Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, and rookie Nikola Jovic. Thorpe also stated that trading DeRozan would only make sense if the Bulls start out the season slow with little to no hopes of advancing past the first round of the playoffs. To me, I believe that DeMar DeRozan is that guy. He wasn't given enough credit with the Toronto Raptors or even the San Antonio Spurs, but with the Chicago Bulls last season, he was able to make some things happen. And if they were fully healthy, we never know where the Chicago Bulls would have ended up in the playoffs last season. But last year, there were a lot of injuries across the league, so that's really no excuse. During the 2021 regular season, he was able to average 27.9 points, 5.1 rebounds, 4.9 assists, and shot 50.4% from the field and 35.2% from three-point range. Remember you guys, he is a mid-range maestro he is clutch in the regular season and that can also translate into the playoffs most importantly he is a reliable player there's only one season where he played 61 games in the last four seasons he's available he's a guy that has great work ethic and right now that's something that the miami heat need of course there's tyler hero who is the biggest question mark for the miami heat can he be healthy in the playoffs can he develop his game even more? More importantly, can he do it on the defensive side of the basketball? That's all the questions that the Miami Heat are asking about Tyler Hero, and I know he is that guy. But whenever you look at the Boston Celtics, the Philadelphia 76ers, and the Brooklyn Nets, these are teams that actually made some good moves during this offseason. The Milwaukee Bucks, being fully healthy, you never know how far they will be able to go. So if you look at all of those things, the Miami Heat just need to find something, a little bit of hope. I think adding Nikola Jovic to any deal would be a little bit extreme. So I would take him out of that scenario and maybe add a first round draft pick if that's something that the Heat want to do. Moving on, whenever it comes down to Russell Westbrook, He's in a little bit of a pickle in Los Angeles. You see, the Los Angeles Lakers, they ended up trading for Patrick Beverly. And today, they ended up signing Dennis Schroeder to a one-year deal, leaving three point guards in the Los Angeles Lakers organization. Patrick Beverly, Dennis Schroeder are two guys that I know for sure will be getting a lot of playing time alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. In my opinion, Russell Westbrook is as good as gone. He put his LA home up for sale and that's something that's a big note that he will be traded from the Los Angeles Lakers. If the Miami Heat believe that Kyle Lowry isn't the answer, I believe that they should package him and Duncan Robinson for the expiring contract of Russell Westbrook, who in my belief is still one of the better fast break players in the NBA. To me, I think that he should come off the bench and be around a bunch of shooters, something that the Los Angeles Lakers didn't have that much of last season that way you'll have tyler hero in the starting lineup at the point guard position then you'll have russell westbrook and victor aladipo coming off the bench and you'll have scenarios where gabe vincent will be out there or max Struess, and that will open up a whole different dynamic 
for the Miami Heat. They have guys that hustle on every single possession. So why not add one of the best transitional players in the NBA? Now, you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you think that the Miami Heat should just run it back with the team that they have? Or do you think they should go after DeMar DeRozan, Russell Westbrook, or still Miles Turner? Now, I do have two more questions, you guys. But first, make sure you follow me on both of my Instagram pages. Once I reach 1,100 followers, I will be giving away an NBA jersey of your choice, and I'm halfway there. And also, follow me on my Twitch. This weekend, I will be live streaming, and it's something that you don't want to miss. We can all talk basketball, and you'll see some amazing gameplay. Now, the questions that I have for today is, is one, who do you think is the best teams in the Eastern Conference this year? And where do you think that the Miami Heat will finish at the end of the regular season? Honestly, you guys, I'm Heat Nation all the way. But whenever I look at the additions that the Boston Celtics and the Brooklyn Nets made, these are the two scariest teams. Now, I believe that the Miami Heat, they have the most heart out of any team in the NBA. They make sure that their young guys or even their new rotational pieces will always be ready in game. They're always in shape. There's always a little bit of edge with these guys. So I believe that they'll still end up a top three seed in the Eastern Conference because the way that they conduct themselves on and off the court. Now, the second question that I have for today is, is who is your pick for the NBA Finals this year? And I won't even answer that question because there's just so many different teams that I like this year and I want to keep my head on straight for the Western and Eastern Conference. But I know for a fact that the Miami Heat will at least get to the Eastern Conference Finals if they're able to make one additional move, whether big or small. Now, I appreciate all you guys loving your support. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch for this weekend. And as always, this your boy Scotty Ice. AKA Baby Braun, and you already know, I'm out.